Hi everybody, this update's for Wednesday the 21st of June 2023. Um, not really too much happened to report health-wise other than just getting up and walking about and doing things um, around the house um, and going outside a little bit. But other than that, not much happened. Um, <clears throat> so I spent most of yesterday, um, at least till about 2 o'clock anyway, from about eight o'clock in the morning trying to chase up um my work and see what pay I'll get in July um because I've now been approved for a disability cover um uh, by an insurance company so um I need to know how much I'm gonna get paid because it's getting back dated to the the <coughs> May payment. So I should be getting the May and June payment together or June and July payment together. But um we'll wait and see. I've not heard anything back um, yeah, been an instant raise just to c confirm what's due, etc, etc. But again, as I say, I've not heard anything back yet. So I need to keep chasing that. So it's unlikely I'll be starting back on work on Monday. It'll probably be the following week, I guess, which is what, the 2nd of July? I'll probably start back, which will give me like seven weeks um, post-op, which isn't brilliant. I mean, it should at least be three months <coughs> or 13 weeks. Um, but it's a desk based job where I can log into work remotely and program computers, basically write, build websites. So um, it's not too strenuous. I can get up and walk about when I want. And um, it'll be a phase back to work plan anyway. So it'll be so many hours one week, um, so many hours another week. And I think it's going to be like a three month phase back to work plan before I'm back full time, which will probably take me into. Um, so sort of this August, September, October, per time anyway, before I'm full back time to work, but that's fine. I mean, I could cope with that. Um, as long as I get a chance to get up and walk about and do things, it also give me a chance to refocus my brain and actually concentrate on doing some something productive as opposed to just um, concentrating on just making sure I get up and walk about and um, sit down and watch. Uh, YouTube and stuff like that uh, and uh, Amazon Prime, Netflix and Disney Plus and all the other streaming services <coughs> sorry my throat's a bit croaky <coughs> the other thing I started as well was um, my when I was in the hospital my <coughs> sister brought in a it's not actually Lego but it's kind of based like Lego it's like a wee sticking brick thing that sticks together <clears throat> but it's not the same sort of quality. It's quite poor quality in very small parts. So um, so she brought that in for me to build because obviously they'd given up. It was just too too much for them. Um, he's only like nine, ten year old or something. Um, and uh, my sister didn't have the patience or the time to do it. So um, she thought it would give me something to do during my recovery as well. So um, I'll try and show you what what I'm trying to build for my nephew. So give me a second. So this is what I've been given to build. It's the Celtic Football Stadium. Basically, um, so we'll start building that. I started building it yesterday, as I said. So I've got the base done and basically the first layer of the bottom. So it's pretty much there that way. But uh, I mean, the pieces are very, very small. That doesn't give you any indication how small the pieces actually are. But they're absolutely tiny. Um, plus, the instructions on how to build it aren't very clear. You've actually got to look at them through a magnifying glass, or I have to look at them through a magnifying glass, just to um, decipher what number of um, pieces go where and stuff like that, because it's not intuitive, not straightforward on how to do it. But again, we'll get there. I mean, as you can see, I um, don't know what the actual size means because it doesn't actually tell you. It's bigger than the box anyway, put it that way. <laughs> um, it's for ages 12 plus. Um, I would be concerned giving this to a 12, 12 year old because they probably lose their head with it pretty quickly. Unless they're really astute in building these sort of things. 
and there's 4,078 pieces. But as I said, it's absolutely tiny, minute pieces. And effectively, what you get is that's the plan that tells you what pieces go you need and that tells you what you're doing so it doesn't tell you what piece goes where it's not like a lego brick build so you have to really zoom in as i say to the actual sort of say for the brown bit there there's like an eight piece and a six piece but you can't actually tell that from there without really looking into it and I've, as i say i've got to use my magnifying glass which is probably not helping with the camera but uh, to do that plus i've got to wear stronger rain glasses to get see some of the pieces as well plus as i say the, the bricks the pieces don't stick very well to the um to the boards and the pieces don't you know it's not it's not the best to build build qualities but anyway it's there i mean and this is just a stand just a good sample of sizes i mean there's a three piece single three piece absolutely minute um four piece I don't know what's that six piece um you know and these are all the things you've got to try and put build up and put around it so even trying to work out what goes where I mean like if there's a three piece and a you know one like this goes to the side of it or something like that you can't really tell without looking at the actual instructions and trying to work out what's going on with it. But I think once you get the actual sort of base done the actual sort of walls of it you know these these walls here that will just all sort of fall into place because you've got the base because you've kind of got the base already in there um so you've already got the base already in place so the rest of the walls will be fine to build up and then once you've got the inside the seating area really built you can then just start to build on the roof sections but the roof sections are very very small tiny clear pieces and things like that so it's going to be relatively tricky plus these clear pieces here and you know the entrance and blah de blah de blah but again it's a big massive celtic fan so um i don't mind doing it for him plus it gives me something to do as well um and concentrate the mind um if you get a piece in the wrong place you kind of pick it off and you don't get a tool to take it off so i had to borrow one of the knives out the drawer in the kitchen to just get it off to reposition it but anyway so that's what I'm doing just now. Uh, so that's the plans for the next sort of um, week or week and a half anyway, is just to get this build done and uh, get it back to my nephew. Because obviously you'll be excited to see it done. Um, and hopefully he'll treasure it and not <laughs> break it uh, once he loses his temper with Celtic or something like that. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, it's all done. It's, it, I, I don't mind doing it because I enjoy building these things. It keeps me occupied. I've always enjoyed building um, Airfix Lego, uh, Airfix model kits, um, Lego builds. As you probably know, um, I, I have got quite a few um, Lego pieces of my own, like Millennium Falcon, um, Luke Skywalker helmet, a Baby Yoda. There's a Mandalorian helmet. No Mandalorian, Boba Fett, Darth Vader, a Stormtrooper, and a Big Yoda. Um, some freebie um, Land rover thing. Plus I've got the big um, DeLorean up there. Plus there's only a few others in there. Plus there's some up the stairs as well in the bedroom. I'm just running out of spaces. Plus once I build the Lego Stadium, I've gone and got this one to build for my own purpose. My R2-D2. Um, I got given the lighting kit at Christmas time, <laughs> so um, they thought it was a full kit, but obviously not. So I got a lighting kit. So once I get the R two D two built, I'll um, get the uh, lighting kit fitted. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. That's where I am just now. Um, I'll try and give an update on where I am with this uh, Celtic Stadium build each day um, during the blogs. But um, that's, that's it for today. Um, and I'll get back, I'll let you all know how we get on tomorrow um, after I've been to the clinic and things like that. So <clears throat> for a checkup and review of meds and things like that. So I'll let you know tomorrow what happened there. Okay, right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>